Well, this is our first one, and I have to say, I think it went pretty well. Um, I want to remind you what we're going to do with these. We're going to write them up. We're going to send them back to you. Uh, we're going to have some work groups. We may call some of you back to work out a little bit more detail. And we're going to try to see. I'm going to, we're going to have the city administration figure out what are the things we can address maybe immediately, what is going to take more time. Some of the things I actually think we've done, but you don't know about it, so that's a problem. So how do we use the existing programs better? Like there are some homeless programs, but maybe they're not in the right place. Maybe they're not being advertised. Particularly there are specific programs for young people. So that bothers me because it sounds like those programs aren't reaching those young people. Um, we will also take um, these into the budget process in terms of, of, of our prioritizations and um, if you signed up, you will get these copies, and uh, we will maybe have some follow-up meetings, and we're going to try to get this back to you, processed and back to you within a month, um, so that you'll know that you just didn't come here and talk and that it went into thin air, we're going to really try to get back to you. Um, so we have, I want to ask you, we're, we promised to get you out of one by 1.30. How many of you have some general questions, not speeches, comments, but general questions? We have till 1.30, we have a mic. You see this man here in the middle, he's very big. You get one minute for your questions. <laughs> Line up behind him. Uh, Mayor? Yes. Uh, I would like to know what you're going to do to possibly expand the Mayor's Summer Job Program. Uh, at my community center, we were one of the host work sites. We hosted 18 children, and it was very successful. Uh, so we would like to know, um, the children asked, they wanted to work longer. So is there any way that could be expanded at some point? I want you to send me an email. We've set up a group. It's, we're almost sort of too late because, you know, the fundraising for the mayor's job program should start in the fall. But we are pulling it together. In my toughest neighborhoods, I have a personal goal of trying to get 100 jobs in the toughest beats um, per beat. So I'm actually personally going to try to go out and get 300 jobs uh, in those tougher neighborhoods where there's high unemployment and high dropout rate. We're also trying, we're pulling together meeting. Uh, ask me again by the next town hall, I'll have a better answer for you. But we really realized, we were talking about that the other day, is um, we really have to start fundraising earlier. I'll be speaking to the Chambers of Commerce in March, and the two things I'm asking for them for is, well, actually three, mentors, internships, and jobs for young people. So I'm personally meeting with the top 10 CEOs in town. That's what I'm asking them for. So I hope if not by this summer, I hope it will be a little better this summer, but I hope the following summer to have a much more uh, extensive program and quite frankly to work on inter internships in the high school programs during the year. Next question. Uh, my question is um, for the little uh, side little projects we did with the homeless, house homeless stuff, how does uh, us that just did that be able to continue. Wait, I, we couldn't hear the question. Could you say it again? My, question is, it, my question is the uh, project we just did, how do we be able to continue to have a uh, part in that process um, from now and in the future? And also, like, uh, some of the ideas for some of the solutions. Okay. Uh, we have, like, some organizations that so have solutions to some of these problems. So, so how can some of the organizations we, be involved and how can you individually continue to be right, involved? How right? do we be able to okay. express our self to where we can help okay. deal uh, with some okay. of the problems? So let me tell you what I'm hoping we will do long term in the city. It will work, maybe not work. Right now we have 57 beats in the city. It's, and the beats are almost the same size as elementary school districts. So Tony and Smith and I have been talking about making them the same that an elementary school district and a police beat would be the same, because it's about the same numbers. 
Each of them have consuls. I want to take crime prevention out. I'm going to get beat up for that. Because I want the consuls to do a wider thing. I want them to do crime prevention, but I also want them to do other things. I want them to help the schools. I want them to beautify the neighborhoods, et cetera. So in my old district, when I was just a consul member, almost every one of my NCPCs are now called neighborhood consuls. And they do much broader things. They do beautification. They do school projects. Um, and I want that to be the place where the city and the neighborhood come together regularly to interface and talk. And so I'm, I'm asking foundations for more neighborhood service coordinators so that we can have a place where every month the dialogue about what's happening in your neighborhood continues. That's my dream. I, I'm going to I'm meeting with foundations this month and next month. That's what I'm asking them for. So you NCPs, your NSCs, I'm trying to get you some help because we cut them into about half. And I'm hoping that these neighborhood-based consuls, and then I'm hoping you'll each organize your block and send a rep from each block to the consuls so that we have an ongoing democratic process where people can constantly have discourse back and forth between the city. That may or may not work. On some of these bigger issues, we're going to have, depending on what the issues, ongoing committees. So I'm guessing the wheelchair problem, I'm actually call for people across the city to deal with that issue to see if there's something that we can come up and they'll work with our commission with the disabled. On the other hand, the issue of schools, I think we're probably going to end up doing the, some of that, schools by schools, with the school district. Um, I don't know if, if the school board member is still here, but we'll have to talk about that, I think. Um, and then it sounds like um, most crime stuff should still go for the neighborhood crime prevention councils. We're happy, we're lucky to have the watch commander. Is he still here? Lieutenant Wong, was he, is he still here? Anyhow, we had the watch commander here. He heard a lot of what you said today. Um, I think that's very important to have had the watch commander here. And it looks like Tony Banks is not going to make it. He owes you a comeback. I'll make sure he comes back and meets with the community. He wants to come back for the gumbo anyhow. Um, he, all these ladies yesterday when we were walking offered to cook him gumbo. So maybe we'll have a, a neighborhood potluck with the chief. Um, so uh, that's the, the best I can answer your question. Let's take a couple more, one more question. Hello, uh, Gene Kwan, Mayor Kwan. Uh, Hello, uh, Tony, I didn't recognize you if your hair is so yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's good to see everybody coming out to here to West Oakland. Uh, my question is, um, there's a lot of uh, talk about um, community organizing, and we've been organizing in our neighborhood over on Center Street and 7th Street for the last 10 years. And I, 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 I don't see a lot of, uh, like, if folks really wanted to come out, like if the Common Joe wanted to start organizing, um, the support for them um, is very limited. So if they wanted to access city dollars, there's so much uh, uh, navigation, so much. It's not a lot of uh, efforts to really help those people. And it's like um, we are forced to rely on the same systems that's been in place. And we keep um, funding the same systems and keep getting the same results and here I am I got a business right now uh, I had to open my own business with my own dime on 7th Street cross street from the West Oakland post office bikes for life and um, you know we and we just had our one-year anniversary you know what I mean and, it, and, and it's and it's a nonprofit bike shop to really set up you know opportunities and to be able to fund our own programs in the neighborhood for folks that's coming okay, out okay Tony a Hall. question now our, my <laughs> question was what I just said where is the support for endeavors like that? Where's the support for folks? Because there's a lot of talk about that, but there's not a lot of empowerment. There's not a lot of efforts to give back to, to help okay. folks, okay. you know, be able to sustain okay. some okay. of those things. I said questions, no speeches. I get the point. You don't think we've been supportive. Um, I got to tell you, it, it, the democracy is a tough thing. The Kids First programs, and you could apply for the Kids First program, the majority of votes are actually young people. Uh, this is 4% of the city budget that goes to after school and youth programs. I don't know if you, any of you are nonprofits that have applied for this. It's tough. Those kids are tougher than most nonprofits. Um, they vote for them. I'm willing to work with you to help get you an application in on that, but that's how this democratic system works in Oakland. They, they, they did it by ballot. That's how they decided to do it. Other funding in terms of the big priorities. I want to make it more and more go through processes like this in consuls. It's not perfect. We're going to have different budget process. But the reality is this year, we're not expanding. I will be cutting another $46 million or raising that money in different ways. And my goal is just to keep 
to better use your current tax dollar so that you can get better uses. And so we didn't even get to that. We're going to have whole meetings on that. I'm planning to civilianize some processes in the police department so that more police officers can be on the street and that we can use more civilians for internal processes so that you get more cops on the street, even though we're not necessarily spending that much money. I'm asking for some foundation money for transition. On the issue of the youth programs, every youth program who is here said that they don't have enough money. So maybe it's time for us all to come together and talk about maybe a little less competition, a little bit more collaboration. I don't know. I know that with the school district, one of the things that we're talking about, um, the reason we opened the 81st Library, Avenue Library, uh, East Oakland's not had a major library, not a good or a big one. And so that is a joint project of the city and the schools. The schools got the school bond money to build it, we raised the money when we voted for Measure Q to staff it, and foundations gave us $3 million so there would be books and brand new computers in there. So that was a really interesting collaboration. More and more things are going to happen that way. Can I promise I'm going to give you money? No. I can promise to make your applications more competitive. So that's any more questions? Anyone else in line? One last question, and we're going to let everyone go. All right. yeah. Madam Mayor. Anybody who's driven over here knows that there are potholes all over Oakland, devastating front suspensions, blowing out tires, breaking rims all over the city. And is, there's jurisdictional problems with county roads and state highways and all of this. Is there any planning that might be coming up or program to put the roads back into A1 shape so okay. that Oakland can be the city it needs to be. Well, first of all, let's talk about this from the global and then I'll, we'll talk specifics. Um, in most of the country, if you've ever read this, this, it's a very depressing report, the GSA report that was done by Congress on infrastructure in this country, most of our infrastructure is falling apart. In California, it's worse because the legislature over the last decades often stolen local gas monies and vehicle license fees monies to balance the state budget. And those are the monies, quite frankly, that cities use to fix their infrastructure. Older cities like us have worse and older infrastructure. That being said, what are we doing? When I was in Washington, one of the things we've been lobbying for is more stimulus money, and although I would love to have a high-speed train in California, I'd also like to just have money for basic infrastructure. We've been lobbying, if you're going to do stimulus funds for infrastructure, could we just have it for roads and streets? Because we're not the only city that has a lot of potholes. We're an older city. We've been pretty aggressive on getting grants, but that usually only services, the federal grants and state grants only service the big arterials. So if you're not on Mandela, you're not one of the big major streets, your street's not even eligible. Is that, and that also being said, we do have some money. And what I find is that in some neighborhoods, people are better at reporting them than in others. So that one of the first things we're going to be looking at is whether or not, um, and Brooke is up here, uh, we are, are, and she's been looking at this, do people ask for pothole repairs equally, or do some neighborhoods more proactive than other neighborhoods? And we'll have to probably get a report back out to people on that. Some cases it's true, but for the most part, we thought it was pretty interesting, it wasn't true, that people are, are learning to use PWA call center at oaklandnet.com to report their pothole, and at least a temporary fix is done. And what's the phone number? 615. 615. So temporary fixes, the public works is actually pretty good on doing. It's this major repaves that our streets are so old. Um, now, West Oakland in particular, we are watching very carefully a lawsuit in uh, LA that's being fought out in the courts where the LA has been able to put a dollar per container, port container, to pay for the impact on the community. Should they win, Oakland will probably follow and will use that money both for the cleanup of the air and for the damage on our streets. So that's sort of things that we're looking at, things that we're thinking about. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. We're gonna hang out and chat with people. I need you to take home food. We also have some extra food from the food bank here for you to take home. It's at the door, take it on the way out. I really wanna thank everyone for making this first town hall, I think a, a great success and we will get back to you. Thank you.